Hello friends, myself Chirag. Today I am going to discuss with you crossbar switch multiprocessor system. Topic of computer organization and architecture. First of all, let's see. There are four different schemes in the interconnection structure of multiprocessor system. First one is time side bus. Second one is multiport memory. Third one is crossbar switch, and fourth one is multi-stage switching network. Today we will discuss crossbar switch. And remaining three videos are available on my channel. You can watch there. Uh, this diagram shows the crossbar switch. Let's see first point. The crossbar switch organization consists of a number of cross points. Now you can see that this is the cross point. CPU one and memory module one is connected over here. Are placed at intersections between processors, buses, and memory modules and paths. So you can also say uh, cross points are uh, used to join. memory module and cpu so there are a number of cross points are available so you can see over here this is the cpu 3 uh, using three, this cross point uh, it connected with uh, memory module 2 figure uh, be, uh, below figure shows a uh, crossbar switch interconnection between four cpus and four memory modules the small square so uh, uh, this is the small square in each cross point it is a switch that determines the path from a proce processor to a memory module uh, now uh, we will take one example like uh, cpu 1 wants to access from memory module 2 so at that time cpu 1 send one request this cross point check the request uh, it recognize there is uh, for uh, this request for memory module 2 it forward to this cross point this cross point also recognize or uh, find and it finds that uh, this request for memory module 2 so it forward directly to the memory module 2 each switch point has control logic to set up the transfer path between a processor and memory uh, next one it examines it means this uh, that cross point examines the address that is placed in the bus to determine whether its particular module is being addressed so it sent to its uh, requested module it also resolve multiple request for access to the same memory module on a predetermined priority basis so we can say there is memory module 1 and uh, there is a number of request from different cpus at that time uh, it is resolved by based on priority system uh, this is the circuit of crossbar switch the circuit consists of a multiplexers that select the data address and control from one cpu so uh, it is for all the cpus you can see over here uh, data bus is bidirectional address and control bus is unidirectional from one cpu for communica communication with the memory module sometimes it is possible uh, there are uh, more than two cpu or more than one cpu will request to the multiplexers to access the memory module how can it solve uh, priority levels are established by the arbitration logic to select one cpu so this multiple uh, multiplexer and arbitration logic is available in between the memory module and uh, processors uh, so priority level will be uh, decided by the arbitration logic so when two or more cpu attempt to access the same memory advantages uh, support simultaneously transfer from memory modules in uh, uh, different processes it provides full connectivity highly useful in multiprocessor system maximum use of bandwidth compared to other networks disadvantages uh, number of cross points i is equal to n square there are number of cross points will be increase uh, complex hardware requirement because cross points are increase it means uh, logic also complex vulnerable to single fault thank you for watching this video please like share and comment subscribe my channel on youtube chirag baloria press bell icon to get new video notification thank you